Hiya, um, my name's Sarah Sheridan and this is hashtag where I write on Periscope and uh, this is my flat in Edinburgh where I live and I write all over this place so I'm going to take you on a guided tour around it and um, the truth is I write a lot of other places as well there's a cafe up the road and I take my laptop in there and they just keep bringing me coffee and uh, I also write on trains quite a lot especially over the summer I love public speaking, it's a totally weird thing to enjoy, but I really, really like it. And I do a lot of book festivals and library events and that kind of thing. So quite often over the summer I'll find myself on a train for three or four hours and I just settle down and get into a story. So uh, today we're in the flat though, and uh, the first place that I sometimes write, and actually other people come and write too, is outside in the yard. Uh, welcome to the Scottish summer, it's rainy today. Um, I also often chuck, um, well I have a daughter, she has a load of friends, I have a rake of godchildren who all smoke. So they all go outside and work on their laptops if they're at home because they're not allowed to smoke in my house. Um, but I, I write out there sometimes too, the wireless extends out there and it's quite nice sometimes just be able to open a door and kind of wander out. Uh, I built on this to the house when I bought the flat. Um, uh, it's, a, it's a glass box really and um, it's kind of a light box. Quite often when you see pictures of me that have been taken and the lighting's really beautiful, it's because we've, we've shot it in here, we take quite a lot of shoots in here. And uh, I built this on because, well when I bought the flat first of all, I, was, I wasn't single but I wasn't living with anyone and uh, split up with that boyfriend, met a new guy and ended up marrying him and he's big and he came with a lot of equipment and this flat really wasn't big enough but we, we love the area around here so we decided we would stay and we ended up building up on this kind of big glass extension and we actually had one of our very first tiffs um, about the sofa that I'm sitting on um, I, uh, I don't believe or didn't believe in my furniture being gadgets and my husband is a geek and he was up for this sofa, came home very pleased one day having bought it and uh, I'm just going to show you what it does Look at that, isn't that glorious? <laughs> I was furious. I was absolutely incandescent with rage. I said, you've bought an electric chair into my house. And, um, and then he just said, sit on it. And I did, and he's completely right. It is the most comfortable place in the entire house. And um, I quite often curl up here, put up my legs. Um, we always have uh, lots of blankets around the house, all over the place. Um, I collect quite a lot of vintage blankets, actually old mohair blankets and things, because it's Scotland and it, it gets cold really quickly out of practically nowhere and wrapping up on this sofa and, um, and uh, typing away on the laptop is actually quite a good way to get some work done. Um, I'm not the only person that works on this sofa, this is the favourite corner uh, of Laura who's my PA and quite often you'll find her in here curled up like a little cat on her laptop. Uh, and occasionally if we have something nightmarish to talk about, like what are we going to do about, we come through here and we sit on the sofa all tucked up and it's quite a good way to sort of get yourself through um, any kind of difficult conversations that are ongoing. So this is somewhere that I, uh, that I write. Next up, if you come this way, uh, this is the kitchen. Uh, this is my collection of coffee pots. I started out with a really small coffee pot, I think it was about this size, and gradually over the years the coffee pots have got bigger and bigger. This is an 18 espresso cup coffee pot, and um, I recommend it to anyone who wants to write, it's a very handy item. And now it's not just me in the house a lot of the time, because Laura's here and we quite often have interns in and out and other people come in and out for meetings, so uh, a, a brace of good big coffee pots is a bit of, a, a bit of an advantage. Uh, this is the kitchen table, and I also write here sometimes. I tend not to write books here, I tend to write journalism at the kitchen table. I sometimes write articles about writing, usually, uh, for the Huffington Post, or sometimes about politics for The Guardian, or um, history and stuff for the BBC. And, um, and quite a lot of them are, are written around this table, um, which is kind of quite a nice place. You can spread out a lot of stuff in here. And um, I also have meetings in here quite a lot. We have lunch meetings if there's people coming in to talk about, you know, things that are going on. Uh, we order in a whole load of sandwiches or some sushi or something. We can all sit around the table. And it's quite a nice atmosphere to have a meeting where you're eating because I'm an eater. So um, journalism and stuff happens there. And then up here, coming into the heart of the house. Um, oh, I want to show you this. Come on. <laughs> 
picture, this beautiful paper cut was bought for me by my mother um, for my birthday a few years ago, and it's a, a typewriter with some, um, with some, uh, so I'm just putting on the light, with some uh, words coming out of it. And um, it's quite interesting because my mother's dyslexic and she finds it really difficult to read them. And as a kid, she never read us stories. There were no books in our house really very much when we were growing up, uh, certainly not when I was very young. And, um, and this is what my life is like to my mother. She just doesn't get the writing at all. And that's a scary thing for her. And she bought me this because she knows this is a joy to me. This is me in the middle of a cloud of words. And, uh, and that's a really lovely thing for me. So um, yeah, I love this picture and I've put it here. This area, I measured it out at one point, is the heart of the house. Uh, and so some of the things, I wanted to put some things here that were really important. And so uh, that picture is one of them. And actually that little cousin when I got married um, and we grew up playing cards. So um, that's like the center of the house. And this very nice little pink chair here. It's a great chair for small because you can uh, curl up in it. And I read a lot in this chair. You know, if I'm reading a book, this is somewhere that I'm quite likely to come. It's really, really comfortable. And you kind of curl up and you're in a wee corner and it's just really nice to be here. Um, I shot quite a lot of footage at one stage. I wrote a book for my niece called I'm Me, which was about her and me. Um, it was about a niece who had a very difficult auntie. And my niece is, uh, is much more straight than I am. And even when she came out, even when she was a tiny baby, she was a wee librarian. And so I was always trying to get her to play crazy games and I wrote her this story called I'm Me which is her fighting back saying I don't want to play your crazy games, I'm just me. And I shot a lot of material in this chair because this is my story chair, I have a load of godchildren and I've, I've over the years told them a whole load of stories in this chair. And this is right at the centre of the house. This is my suitcase for the Felix Stowe Book Festival this weekend and packed up and ready to go. And through there you can see but we're not going to go in. Um, my bedroom, if we went in, it would be a bit weird, I think. But I actually write often in my bed. I get up in the morning and I've got it in my head. It's the only thing I care about. And I just pick up a laptop and start typing. And eventually someone will arrive in the house and bring me coffee. And I'll be able to keep going. And I'll quite often write all morning in bed. People arrive and I'm in my pyjamas and they think that I'm just lazy. But actually I've been working really hard. I'm, in my pyjamas because I, I haven't been able to sort of um, have get find the time to get up yet and get dressed. Um, and last year, uh, Alan McCready, who's a local photographer, came and took some brilliant shots of me working in bed for a project he was doing called The Hundred Days of Scotland. And uh, I'll show you those actually, some of them in here. Um, but we're not going to go into the bedroom, oh no. This is the word centre, if you like, of the house. Um, this is the study and uh, there's lots of stuff in here and um, my husband has a desk in here you can tell that's his and hers can't you really uh, his desk is all geek stuff and there's some beer over there don't forget the beer um, and uh, we have a lot of stuff uh, up on the walls and um, that's a picture of one of my daughter's friends Tara Novi part of an exhibition that was up on uh, George Street and I love the look of it it's, she looks like an American farm girl I just wanted to I wanted to have that and the photographer very kindly sent me the print which was really nice um, and coming over to this side which is, is really my end of the office much more um, I keep copies of my own books about I don't know if that's weird and um, these are the Mirabel Bevan mysteries over there and there's some more books down here that I've written um, I don't know, I think um, when you're writing a book you always go through those kind of difficult things um, and you want to have your own stuff around you to remind you that you know you got 60,000 words and got stuck before um, and so you look at the book and you think, oh no, it's going to be okay, I can actually do this. So this is where I write um, a lot of the time when I'm not in bed. Um, I have a kind of series of papers all over the place and some notebooks and things. Um, this, for example, is uh, I'm part of a writer's collective called 26. You can find us at 26.org.uk. And I love 26. Um, it's a kind of a sort of broad level, uh, not a literary association. It's a kind of just anyone who loves writing can join. So we have copywriters and screenwriters and all different kinds of people that join. And our way of engaging with the public is to team up with major institutions in the UK 
and put on exhibitions of objects or um, sometimes of, of photographs and things uh, and uh, sometimes they have a design element and we write about those objects and bring those objects to life in a different way. And around the walls you can see this one here is one of my poems actually. I'm not known for writing poetry but it's a poem um, that was on at the v &A. And this one up here was on at the National Museum of Scotland. And, um, oh, this one, uh, these are a series of photographs that were taken at the Edinburgh uh, uh, Book Festival over three years. There's a, a photographer who just lives around the corner, actually, Chris Close, who takes photographs of all the writers. And he's got a book coming out of all these brilliant photographs. And these are three of the years that Chris has actually... Um, uh, uh, photograph me and it's quite interesting because every year is about that year I was quite shy that year and there was a lot of famous people about and I just didn't want to be seen and so he took me from behind um, and this one is uh, the year the libraries initiative was on so there was a lot of closing down the libraries and that was my plea to the world to read and this one was in response to another author saying that cosy crime which I write was spineless and wasn't Scottish so I painted a thistle up my spine and Chris shot it, um, it was kind of my topless shot. So there's a lot of that kind of stuff around to just kind of remind you that you're doing things because writing a book is a really, really slow process. And sometimes you just need to be reminded that it's gonna be okay, that you're doing all right. Um, there's a lot of admin on this desk really as well, sort of uh, budgeting and lists of things. And um, I'm, a big, I'm a big list writer. Um, so this is where I write and um, I hope you've enjoyed popping in and um, I'm not sure you should be popping in. I think maybe you should be at home reading. So pick up a book right now, get reading and support we authors who are doing our best writing wherever it is that we live. Thanks for popping in. It's off.